thank you so much for um asking me to come on again and talk i was actually looking and it's a year this week since i did my last live with you because it was i'm 51 next week and if you remember oh i did all this yeah. to get to 50 in a great condition and wow that definitely worked and um yeah so it's a whole year has nearly passed and i'm nearly 51 what there we go <laughs> that's amazing isn't it that that year just flew past I don't... and i guess the one before that was the year before that yeah is... <laughs> three years on hbd isn't it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so i have been um on hbd for three years now so yeah and no looking back <laughs> at all you're celebrating two years in phase four yes which is so i think it's like the 17th of june or something that i got to my target weight two years ago and yeah and i literally stay holidays maybe i come back four or five pounds over but yeah. all the time i stay two i let myself go like maybe two to three pounds over yeah. and then I can just look, we're ladies, it depends on the time of the month and all that. So, it does, yeah. all that, exactly. But, you know, if we have, you know, we're supposed to have fun on holiday and, you know, enjoy the old cocktail and whatever else we might fancy. And so it's mainly water weight that we come back with. You know, it's not extra fat that we suddenly mysteriously piled on. No. So, and it goes so quickly. So whenever I've come back off holiday, and maybe I've put on three or four pounds, and say I fly back at the weekend, by the following weekend, it's gone. That's fine. But it, it doesn't hang no. around. It, no. it, it goes. So, no. yeah, so no, it works. You've really and cracked it, Claire. Well done. You really have. Yeah, you're a shiny example to everybody. You really are. And I wonder, because I know that you had, you suffered from CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome, and fibromyalgia but can you tell us a bit more about that you know for people who might not know what that means and what the fatigue was like you know the devastating oh. fatigue yeah so I, I was diagnosed with that probably about 15 years ago I think my sons were about and uh, my eldest son would have been a, he was in the last year of primary school he's 26 now yeah. so it is some years ago but I had two I had um, glandular fever and then I was a secondary school, full-time secondary school English teacher and um, a boy pushed me into a door which damaged two discs in my back and my body just went into shutdown. I understand now that your body does that to protect you. When that happens, it's devastating because you, you just don't know why your body does that and you basically, I fought against it for the first six months and just wouldn't yeah. give in and um yeah it literally i couldn't dry my own hair at my very worst i couldn't feed myself the doctors couldn't do a lot they just said um do you want a wheelchair i, I didn't leave the house for six months at one point because i was so poorly with it and i realized now my body had shut down but trying to recover from that because there was in that time there was nothing we've since had covid and long covid symptoms are very very similar to me yeah. so and cfs so there is a little bit more into it now but um the long covid and me if you've got long covid that is very very similar and it's just fatigue and the more you do the more tired you get but it isn't tiredness like people say well, you sleep it it's not sleep does not make you recover no. so it was just a constant battle and i think i said before in my life we had a photograph on our coffee table and it was when a couple of years before and all of us together as a happy family and, and i just used to look at that photograph and say i want to be her again that and, is amazing and you did it you're amazing do you know what i like, than her. cannot remember i yeah I just feel this sounds really, really cliche, but I feel like a new person. Yeah. And people that know me are amazed at who I am now. And the HBD, honestly, again, another cliche, was the key that unlocked the door. I'd done diets, but I think we said 
before, I've done Slimming World, and Slimming World doesn't teach you anything. It doesn't teach you the fundamentals of healthy eating. And I think the big thing for me with HBD is it taught me how or what how and what I had to do to nourish my body to make me well. And actually that diets that said you can eat whatever you want but just eat this many calories, well that it didn't work it doesn't because work I would still like that, does it? the sugar yeah. and I'd yeah. still eat yeah. the rubbish. Yeah. Whereas this teaches you what nourishes your body. The elimination part for me was good as well because I understand then what was triggering yeah. me. So um, what my body didn't like, I adhere to that now. So that's why I'm well. And even now, if I eat something, I think that just makes me feel rubbish. So I can't go back. So I've HBD has done, it has taught me mm. how to eat healthily and how to impl implement that in my life permanently. Yeah, fantastic. And Claire, what were the, I mean, were there like two or three main triggers that you know that you actually, you just stay away from because it's not worth eating and they make you feel rubbish? Sugar is not great. It mm. just makes me feel rubbish. I'm not very good with, so I know, I still don't eat things like pasta i have red lentil pasta sometimes yeah. but i don't eat white rice white pasta i don't eat <laughs> so i don't how i say to people is i don't eat square bread i eat <laughs> sourdough so if the if, like if the bread is half moon type shaped but anything that's square like or rectangle i don't eat that type of bread so i i eat is healthy if i am having something that is not what i would call healthy to me now that is a treat yeah so it's a treat so it's not something i'm going to eat every day right. and when i'm eating it i am this is a treat enjoy it but you don't keep having it no because a treat is something just by its very nature it's something that we're not supposed to have very often right? no yeah exactly and even no, al again. alcohol now is um it's it's not great for me so i do like cocktail but I don't drink in the week. Yeah. I only drink special occasions. I don't particularly drink that much at home. I might have, I don't tend to drink wine at all. Mm. And I'll have a gin and tonic because that's the lowest yeah. and the least um, sugary and doesn't really trigger me quite so much. But yeah, it has been a massive change and for it's what I eat. Yeah, and it's interesting that you said that still now you try things and you think, well, no, I'm, you know, I know, know that does good messages from my yeah. body. So it's, and, it's something that never stops, isn't it? We, you know, it's always like a, a work in progress. Yeah, and sometimes like I'll think, oh, really, I might have a pizza and I'll have a couple of slices and think, oh, I did, no, no. So I, and it's all, almost, I do say to people, sometimes you've got to try those things again to realise that, they're not great for you yeah. and you doesn't like them to make you remember not to have them but yeah i basically just stick to it's healthy eating yeah so my phase four is healthy eating with the odd treat so i don't actually really have a treat meal now yeah. i just have the odd treat but i have bigger portions now i'm in phase four yeah but I, so I don't weigh anything, but I have more vegetables and more salad. Yeah, that, but I still that, have protein and yeah. vegetables and salad. And I, you know, I had a big tuna steak with lots of vegetables, but I don't really have potatoes still. Or You don't look as if you eat potatoes. You've got that glow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that's not a potato glow, definitely not. <laughs> so, yeah, no, so I, do, I don't. It's, yeah, I mean, I used to have really bad skin. It's made my skin is so much better yeah i just yeah, look amazing yeah. feel um the, there is no going back because i don't want to feel like i felt before yeah and i think i think one of the questions i do get asked a lot is um how quickly did you lose the weight and how much did you lose and uh, i struggle with that a bit because it's for me it was never how quickly I was going to lose the weight yeah. it was how it was going to make me feel mm -hmm. 
so it wasn't really a factor for me and i do think you have to be in it for the long haul yeah. with hbd you have to think but claire do you like... remember when you first started hbd and you started to change your diet how long did it take before you thought actually i can feel something shifting something's changing not in terms of weight but in terms of actually how you were feeling and your energy i mean i know it's a long time ago but i just wonder if you remembered how long yeah, I th I think I could tell the difference because my skin started to clear up and I had less stomach problems. Yes. The first year I w was quite successful the first year, but then at Christmas I ate what I liked again and put ten pounds on, and I thought, no, I can't do that. Yeah. So I the only at uh, three years I've been on it, the only ever reset I did was in 2022 january and then i set my account up yeah because that was really good and i did that reset and i stuck to it and that is when i really saw the benefits and felt like i'd got so i had to be sacrosanct with it yeah. to feel the benefits yeah. and i think if you if you cheat you're only cheating yourself and i did it yeah i know that we've all so done it we all do it, yeah. And sometimes it just takes longer to get one's head into the right place. But you knew that you were feeling really, really good. Yes. And then Christmas and everything went a bit, you know, you relaxed too much, had a bit too much fun. You thought, no, I don't like this. I'm going to really go for it now. Yeah. yeah, for anybody listening, don't worry. You know, if you fall off the wagon and you, you know, you, you need to start and start phase one and two again, you know, once or twice, that's fine. I mean, personally, I do a reset every year. Right. It feels like an emotional reset as much as a physical reset. Mm -hmm. It's like getting rid of the old dross that's mm -hmm. accumulated mm -hmm. in the year before. So yeah, so don't despair if that's happened to you and look at Claire now. And she you know, she learnt her lesson that first Christmas and she's never looked back. And in fact, I think it's you're you're now studying nutrition and yes, you've gone from not being able to get out of bed or dry your own hair or brush your hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm to being a runner, a dedicated, I love that film that you put up. You said yeah, this so it, that was for me, when I got to target weight, it was like, how can I, I don't want this to end, I feel great. How do I carry this on? So I wanted to start strength training to, because I've lost weight, I've got saggy skin, I'm 48 at that time. And you know, I want to 49 actually. And how, how can I make myself look even better? Because I didn't really want to lose any more weight. Yeah. So I started at the gym and they had a treadmill and I thought, oh, try and see what I could run. And I've never, ever, ever run in my life. It used to make me cry, Petronella, because it made my legs itch. I hated running. <laughs> and I've run two half marathons. I'm now competing in the summer league, running... 10ks and i would say though i do that because it makes me feel good i do not run to lose no. weight running does not make me lose any more weight no um, definitely not it's good for endorphins and it must have been really difficult for you you know before you changed your life around basically because yes. your husband like you said you know he does iron man and he's very fit and very active he's a gb athlete for triathlon oh, yes. now as well. there you go. yeah <laughs> unbelievable and you so, probably kind of longed in a way to be able to join in with him and to get what the buzz that he was getting i never ever expected to be able to do what i can do today honestly and that's why i put that reel up because yeah. i look at myself yeah. and i can't believe that's me that's i have to put amazing. those reels up and think is that me is that really me because it's never and people are like you run now you <laughs> run i'm like yeah i run and i know that's as shocking to me as it is to you but that's what, it, it's, what i'm doing yeah. it's the how i've nourished my body now i'm allowing my body to be able to do those things so um i have recently kind of i did a lot of training for my half marathon which i did like last month but i've Great cut that thing. back now so i'm doing more strength training yeah. and um the more muscle you have the more fat you lose because your metabolism <laughs> speeds up so exactly. training is you know and i feel great 
doing the strength training. I do reformer Pilates. I absolutely love that. But anybody that thinks they're going to, because I get a lot of people saying, oh, what do you eat when you run? But it's run to lose weight because no. I, I have never lost any weight running. It just don't. However, the strength training is much better because I can see that yes. I'm totally... Yeah, that's really lovely, isn't it? But no. A lot of people that there's this misconception that you have to eat lots of carbs and um you know those gummy things you know if you're doing a um you know high intensity training but you actually don't because your body adapts to burning mm. fat stored fat for energy and that's another reason why because we can burn muscles for energy as well that's another reason why yeah. like claire yes. you know, we really don't advise you to do any kind of intense or heavy exercise mm -hmm. until you've lost the weight that you want to lose and because you're not really getting enough fuel no. to prepare the muscles and to build more muscles I, with I it. I couldn't be able to have run as I am now when I was in phase three because I wasn't eating enough to, I wouldn't enough. have the energy. Yeah. So, you know, and people ask me all the time and I say, just do some gentle swimming. Swimming is amazing for toning your body. And so do some swimming or do some Pilates or do some slow walking or, yeah. you know, just walking is yeah that's fine really isn't it to begin with yeah but i only run because i couldn't it was way out of the parameters of anything i ever thought i'd be able to do and the fact that i can do that now you know is why i am doing it because it was never in on my radar and i'm amazed at myself that i can We're so yeah all amazed at you you're wonderful you're really, really inspiring and tell us a bit about the fibromyalgia. So you said that when you when you first started running, you got really itchy legs and you hated it. Yeah. Not 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 with HBD, but before that, I think. Oh but yeah. But fibromyalgia, yeah. How much pain were you in? Loads. And what? So yeah. My shoulders were. I don't have fibromyalgia at Good. all now. I don't think I've got any inflammation in my body. My hands. I could, used to be able to shut my hands. They That's would good. only go like that. Yeah. I yeah. could never put them because my hands were one of the things that I could see in first. Yeah. Um, Incredible. So it, I don't really get that. And I can definitely tell now that what I was eating was triggering episodes and that I was never going to recover mm -hmm. eating fish food. And that's all I can describe it all. Uh, you know, it's... How did you and the, hear about it? about hbd about this you know different way of eating a friend no, or, i i think it was um, i used to watch donna donna Ryder on the lives um and it could have been lisa snowden i think it, it was it was one of the celebrity people yeah. that do it and i saw they were doing it and actually I started it A because we were in lockdown, I had a little bit of weight to lose, but I thought I'm gonna start the menopause. Yeah. I'm 48, I'm gonna go into the menopause. I had started to have a few hot flushes. I don't have any menopause symptoms now Yay. at all. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't really really and I'm just you know, I don't have that at all. And the weight loss was a real bonus for me. The health benefits were totally unexpected really really unexpected and it was the whole package and as i've said before i had done slimming world for a lot of years yeah 10 i think on and off and i'd lose a stone put it back on lose a stone but it never ever taught me anything yeah. because i could it doesn't i used to have to carry kit kats around in my bag because you could have a Kit Kat for so many sins, so, but that, I just don't. And I used to say cake, you know, people used to say you had such a sweet tooth and sugar is really strong for me now, still, you know, and just, I think that- Just don't go there. No. No, so that's the safest, isn't it? But you know, I love your mantra, if you don't mind me calling it that, because it is very positive. And Claire says, believe it and you can achieve it. Mm. And she, she has proved that, you know, with knobs on. Unbelievable what you've done. Because t tell us what the doctor said to you. What was your prognosis? They were talking wheelchairs and things, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, you can, we'll give you a wheelchair and you can go to a, an ME support group. I was like, I don't want any of that. Thank yeah. you very much. I just, 
and all I wanted was uh, a way out I yeah. wanted I remember I went to so I had to go to some clinic and they did two kind of tests to diagnose you and they diagnosed diagnosed me and I sat and cried and the, the consultant was like why are you crying I said I wish you were telling me I had something that you could give me a tablet for because you're basically <coughs> saying here's a support group there's nothing you can we there's nothing we can do for you so there was there was they just didn't give me any hope at all and you know I do I do find nowadays I speak to people and they 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 get diagnosed with things and they never ever talk to them about nutrition no, and it drives they don't them know, do they? It's so sad and but that, that's, 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 so you've got the right personality if somebody says you can't do this or you'll never do that you think i bloody will oh yeah. you watch me yeah. <laughs> because you are very determined a support group I was like, so i used to say i don't want tea and sympathy no. i want a way out you want a way i don't out. want people. exactly yeah. i did just don't want tea and sympathy i just want a way out of it and yeah i was really determined and a lot of i get a lot of messages and i always say the very first thing to do on your journey is believe that you can achieve your yes. goal yes. whatever reason yes. you start hbd for you have to believe that you can do it because yes. if you don't Exactly. I don't think you'll do it. I think you have to think, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it for me. You can't see that Susan down the road's done this diet and think, oh, I'm going to do that because it will work for me. Because if you're not going to work at it and you don't believe that you're going to get the results. Exactly. You've got to work at it. And it makes my heart sink a bit when I hear people saying, well, I'm going to give it a go. I think, well, no, you know, we need a bit more determination than that. You know, that's why I keep banging on about the whys. And you had had serious whys. Yeah. Um, but and you I think I have to go into it and think, this is going to be a life change for me. Yeah. I'm not doing this to lose a stone to go on holiday and go back to eating exactly. how I was eating before. Yeah. Because you might as well not bother doing it because I don't really understand. For me, it has taught me so much mm -hmm. even like you say i'm now studying nutrition yeah. because I, it's opened my eyes to a whole new world of you know why would you eat that when it makes you feel so poorly and what can i make what can i eat to make myself feel better and for me and that was never on again it was never on my radar before but i just think i'm so shocked by actually what what you can do for yourself yeah. by eating healthily that why would you want to go back to eating no. you know burger and chips i don't think i've eaten chips for three years I that's think amazing I've well done no you're incredible but yeah because, like no and you don't like the way they make you feel no i mean coming back on the train today there was a sign in the carriage and it said um meal deal a main, a side, and a drink for six quid or something. The main was a, like a plowman sandwich. The side was a packet of crisps, and the drink was a Coca-Cola. And I just thought, oh, that's so sad. And the woman next door to me was eating that and thinking she was having a meal. You know, yeah. it's just so tragic. We really need to start with our kids, educating our children. Yeah, and I know you're a teacher, and I wonder if, you know, you, it would be so cool to, to really focus or specialize on on children and children's health i suppose you have to really educate the mothers mm. first because children eat more ultra processed food than adults do mm. it, chance. it is it's and also you know what you give your kids for breakfast then they're going to school and they're getting spiked and i used to teach yeah. kids that were coming in having drunk powerade or yeah whatever those drinks are and they'd be bouncing off the walls and i think you know what they've had a bowl of frosties for breakfast that's just sugar and it's it's changing that and i've got grandchildren i've got an eight-year-old grandchild and a nearly two-year-old grandchild and i you know i do talk to my son and his wife about healthy eating and my husband's diet has completely changed yeah, well I see what I, you know and he is he speaks to people about it all the time you know claire's done this and this is what we eat now and it's the choices that you make yeah. and it is about 
choices and they're only your choices to make you are making those choices and exactly so the kids aren't because they don't know they don't have the they don't have the knowledge and they eat what what we give them but as you said you know can you imagine how rubbish you'd feel if you had a bowl of frosties for breakfast you yeah. know and your blood sugar shoots up like that and yeah. it would crash down of course we would have behavioral pro problems as adults yeah. Never mind just children and their brains are growing and they're developing and they're making all these new connections in their brains and they're growing their little bodies and their bones and everything else. It's just really unfair. Yeah. It's it's it is about educating yourself yeah. and, and yeah. when you embark on this journey it's thinking, Why am I doing it? Yeah. We talk about our whys and for yourself it's like, Why am I doing it? And it, and for me, yes, the weight loss, but it's about so much more than that because you're also future-proofing yourself you know it, exactly. it, you're yeah. helping yourself and as a nation we're only getting bigger so and you say our choices when we're on the train are rubbish sometimes and rubbish. No, it's really sad isn't it really really sad. there was nothing to eat in Houston nothing that I wanted to eat at all no. nothing it was all like you know grain based mm. and you know, and, stuff. and like you from doing the hbd i found that i um because i think you're the same um, legumes are no so i can't eat um chickpeas aren't great for me yeah. they cause me to bloat um i'm not baked beans i always used to wonder baked beans i could never eat them and now because of i realize that they're so it's really interesting because I also stay away from those things because they do, um, it's something to do with the sugars, I'm right, aren't yeah. I? And they're quite indigestible, mm -hmm. you know, because when you think about it, those, those pulses, they're the plant's babies. And the plant tries to keep its babies safe by making the babies, the, the, you know, the, the pulses, toxic or indigestible. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So if they're toxic, you know, we might like red kidney beans, you know, if they're undercooked, they can mm -hmm. kill us. Mm. A terrible stomach ache and think well i'm not eating those again mm. but now we we take the foods and we process them and cook them for long periods of time and everything else but i still don't think that means it's necessarily good food for human beings no i i i'm so i have found that i can't eat those also i stay away from and i'm pescatarian so i don't eat meat either and i don't eat meat because i have my gallbladder out maybe 10 12 years 10 years ago and so i i had huge problems with meat because i couldn't digest it but i love fish so i stayed pescatarian and i can eat very healthily on a pescatarian a pescatarian diet and i still don't have pulses so it you ways to eat you know you find what works for you and that's what i eat and i do mix things up and breakfast is huge for me. I was just I, going to ask you about breakfast. What's what's your what are your three favourite breakfasts? So mm. I now have a piece of rye bread or sourdough with a mashed avocado, a couple of two poached eggs, and a big portion of salad. So I'm I with pea shoots at the moment, mm -hmm. but rocket pea shoots and salad. So I'll have a big salad with that. Or I have um Greek yogurt still, but now I'm in phase four, I do put that with the biotiful kefir, which is 30% protein, but you can't have that till phase four. Yes. Um, so I have that now because I want to work my protein because I do a lot of strength training, and I have that with berries. So it's very similar to what I was eating before, but when I was in phase three, I would just have the Greek yogurt and yes. the berry with cinnamon on top. So yeah, all I've added into that, and I still have the same amount, yeah. um, is the kefir. So yeah. now in phase four, yeah. I, if I'm having that breakfast, but I only try to have that maybe three times a week and have eggs the other mornings. So, or I make an omelette. Yeah, something magical, that combination of eggs and rye or sourdough and avocado mm. and some greens is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and if, of it. If I don't have, so I, as I said before, I've never ever, a lot of people have the walnuts and the cherries or the, I had that because yeah. it was, for me personally, it was never enough. Yeah. And I knew that to start with, so it was not something I had. Now, because I'm in Facebook, I might add some seeds and some walnuts onto it 
and yep. that's fine because it's extra fiber and it's extra protein for me but um yeah breakfast for me is very important because if i don't have a good enough breakfast that's when i'll fail in the rest of the day yeah. but i still have three meals yeah then, lots of water yeah yeah i'm still not good i mean every every live we've said i'm not good at water and i'm still not good at water but what i have done <laughs> is I buy a, I bought a carafe a couple of years ago because I used to say I'm not good at the water. So I bought a carafe, which is a litre, and I make sure I've at least filled that twice a day and drink that. But oh, well done. That's good. And I, That's good. And I'll put a slice of lime in yeah. it, which again is a phase. So it's silly little things that I've added in phase four, and they're, they're all still they're healthy, all, just a slice of lime healthy. in my water. Yeah. No, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. But yeah, just looking I at some. I just come back to eating. So I used to drink loads of like cordial. I never even buy it now. No, I never good. buy fruit juices for breakfast. I just certain things I just don't have anymore. Yeah, just don't have them. I had more of the good stuff, so I have a bigger salad, more vegetables. Yeah. And, you know, maybe a tiny bit more protein, but not you know. A, portion but i have you know i have a tuna steak which is like 35 grams of protein a good tuna steak so and it would still be a phase three you know so it's I, I, yeah are your kids intrigued by what you're doing you know about how you healed yourself basically you know you you just weren't going to accept that prognosis you're going to do something about it and you did yeah they i mean they're 20 um 24 and 26 now so yeah i mean it's my 51st birthday next saturday and for happy my birthday to you <laughs> my 51st birthday i'm doing total warrior petronella which wow. is with my sons and husband which is a 12k race with tw uh, 12 24 obstacles i mean that would never that i'm doing that and you know what for me to be able to do that Oh god, it makes me feel funny. Yeah. For me yeah. to be able to do that, oh god, with my sons. Yeah, that's really fantastic. Really, really fabulous. I'm not surprised you feel emotional about it. I could, you know, that's something that I can do. Yeah. Oh god, god. Oh, so lovely. What a fantastic birthday present. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's it just amazing. I, I think unless you've known somebody who's had an illness like I've had, you can't know how life-changing it's been. Because yeah. it, it you know, and that's why I've just tried to carry on my journey because it's, no. You it's, are carrying on your journey and carrying on inspiring so many people on, on in your life. It's just fabulous what, it, you know, what you're doing. It it's is, I just, I just want so many, I just have my account to inspire other people. That's mm -hmm. all I, I want other people to see it's possible. Yeah. You know, look at me. Yeah. You can do it and you just have to believe in yourself. You really do because I know that you're worth it. Yeah, you're definitely worth it. You're worth spending the time on to heal yourself. And, it, you know, and, and, if, and if you fall down, I fell down in the first year. But yeah, I picked up yeah. and it worked. Yeah. And, you know, these things are anything is possible anything is possible but like you said you know you need to decide this is what i'm doing i'm not going to have a go at this i'm not going to you know try it out for a week or two you have to say yeah this is what and as you said claire you know that wasn't wasn't really the case the first time you felt much better but then you realized after christmas no i know how good i was feeling and i want yeah. to build on that exactly yeah. so it's exactly. normal to exactly. have a couple of goes to it. i knew yeah. it had worked better than anything that I'd ever done before yeah. and it was like right now you've got to stop messing about yeah. and just do it a hundred percent and I did it a hundred percent and you know and I do think sometimes people are like does she really stay at target way is she really I really <laughs> have it because I'm not going back I'm not I tried to put photos up to show that this is it works it's true you know and i'm not just saying it it you know i don't need to have my account i, I do it to to the people that were stuck like me yeah. you know 
share and inspire them. No, it's really, really good. It's really lovely. And Claire, what was it like when you first started and your husband obviously wasn't particularly on board because he didn't know what you were doing and he didn't know what would happen to you. Was it very difficult? You find just you had to cook lots of different meals in the evening, for instance. Yeah. And I mean, I think, do you know what? More than my husband, because he was like, you know, if, if they think you're going to do it and it works for you, you go for it. But I had a lot of other people that said oh it's your fad mm -hmm. and I was like yeah but I want to give it a go and mm -hmm. it absolutely isn't a fad no, it's and not there are people fad. now look at me and say you know I've had people locally say how how do you look like you look now you know because that you weren't you look like that before mm -hmm. and it's like well I've just changed the whole way that I eat and and that opened up a whole new world for me just changing what I eat, I can't, you know, but yeah. it has opened a whole new world for me. And it, and I, I do feel like a different person. I don't feel like the person, I feel invigorated. I feel like I've got energy. I feel so positive about things. Yeah, you know, it's fantastic. Not... When you're telling them that, Claire, do you see their eyes glaze over or generally, or, or do you see some people what really you changed the way you ate and this is what happened i think there's some people that don't want to believe it and that they i think they've got to get to a point where they think that they've had enough of what they're doing and think i've got to try something new but there's other people that think i don't want to be like this so i'm willing to give it a go yeah. and it's very interesting because you can see the people that are going to succeed and that you can see the people that aren't going to succeed yeah. because they're not not committed don't give it your hundred percent yeah and yeah and it's you know if you it, it's six isn't it really yeah. and if you you see massive change in the first massive. 16 weeks you know it works so why would you want to go back i don't but for me i a lot more than that for me because it was my health yeah. it was everything mm. so i just think it's worth you've you've got to give it a chance and you yeah you've seen benefits then know that they're they'll they'll see you know and it it's hard because i do get a lot of people saying oh i can't do it and i think do you want you to do it? it yeah we do things that we want to do don't mm. we that's the thing and you know that we're very complicated and lots of us might think well i'm not really worth it i don't really deserve to feel good you know i who am i to you know believe that i can do that you know all that complicated stuff and it's about forgetting all the stuff we've ever known and saying, actually, you know, I'm going to look at you, Claire, and know that, you know, she's, she's really changed her life. Mm. And she did it with, a, you know, a lot of determination, but basically just by eating wholesome, natural, really good foods. And anybody yeah. can do that. You know, food is medicine. Yeah. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. That's really mm. all. Food and exercise and a really, really good mindset. Yeah. And, and, just, and, those, yeah. and it is it's 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 just do it for yourself do it for you yeah. and that is you know that i can't i say that to so many people you have to do this for you yeah. and you have to be at a point where you think i'm i want this i want this yeah. and it's nothing's easy what's easy in life but it is easy for me now because it's second nature yeah so Thank i goodness. don't find it's difficult at all now because it is how I eat. Yeah. And when people are like, really? I'm like, yeah, yes, I have the odd treat, but the word is treat. Treat. Before I, I was eating that food as my diet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now there's the difference. I have the odd treat, and you need to have the treat because that's life. And life. I go on holiday, but I make good choices, and it's yeah. about making choices. And you know, I yeah. Oh, I, I for me, yes, the first year was a bit wobbly, but you know, I'm three years. It's not a fad. It's three yeah. years. <laughs> it's fabulous, really fabulous. So you're going to Nice next week. Is that we away for your birthday? No. So we're going to Nice on Friday it's this Friday. week. Uh, it's our wedding anniversary on Saturday, twenty eighth. Yeah, we'll wow. be in Nice for that. Um, but my husband is doing Iron Man Nice on Sunday, so okay. um, and they're back. And then on my birthday, we're doing the Total Warrior. So both my sons and um, I'm doing Total Warrior. And honestly, it's I, I'm blown.
own and like I say the yeah. the, the reason that I put up the other day I I couldn't I came over the line doing the half marathon because I of course yeah I I did just it's I thought I'd ever be able to do that and it's amazing what we can actually do if we it just believe in ourselves yeah because exactly. it's it's I'm not that type of person. I'm not all woo woo and, and all that. Gigi calls it woo woo. <laughs> I love that, and uh, it, it, I love it. And it, it's it it is. I had so many years of being ill mm. that I I want you know this this is and like you say, I've got grandchildren now for them. Oh, last time I went to see my grandchildren, I was playing football with them. You know, <laughs> and it's just love being able to do that and why would i not want to do it and why would i want to compromise my health now by feeding myself because i know that definitely the nutrition has been a massive key to making me how i am today and as i say i'm 51 i no menopause symptoms i had horrific adult acne God. Oh, that's still gone yeah i'm i just you know i go to gym classes now and yeah it's been life-changing it really has been life-changing and people are like really and you know it has it snowballed into a journey and a journey and, and i don't want it to end so you know when i don't want to run anymore i'll i'll do something else because no, i just sure. want to do i just want to be healthy and fit and you the know best you possibly can yeah uh, fantastic. My darling, I've just seen a message from Leslie Turner One who says um, she knows two people with ME. So rather than sending Claire's link, which of course you, is Claire um, Diet Health Fitness, do you share this live with them. Yeah. yeah because that, that would really, really inspire them. And they'll see, you know, how, how to turn her life around mm -hmm. with, as we were saying, a lot of determination, not just wishy washy, well, I'll give this a go. No, she was going to make it work. She was determined to prove those docs wrong, that she was not mm. going to any support groups in a wheelchair. Did yeah. you ever see them again, by the way? Did you ever go back and do they um, not work? Um, yeah, um, I know, not since I've done HBD, because I, I, um, I live down south then, so I now obviously live back up north. So no, I haven't, but it, yeah, interesting because it, People are like, oh, I've got ME. Did you really know? And I, I was diagnosed with it quite. I had it. You so you get it mild, moderate, or severe. And I was moderate to severe. I didn't leave the house for six months. I mean, some that, days I couldn't that's get moderate. You think that's pretty darn severe, frankly? I mean, that's mm. outrageous. They call that moderate. I mean, that is life changing, isn't it? And yeah. it, it, yeah. And I realise now that your body shuts its if you have got me it's because your body shut itself down because of trauma but it yes. doesn't mean it always has to be like that yeah there are but it's slowly you have to do you can't just go out and exercise as you know mine started very very soon it's been a two-year journey to get to doing a half marathon mm -hmm. but that's still amazing for me exactly. but it everything is see what you can tolerate and if you can tolerate that then add a tiny bit more and see if you can tolerate that and then add you know stress is a huge huge for me so if you've got something that is stressful i used to be a teacher i don't teach anymore so i know that's easy to say but i do other things so it's it's there's lots of things you can do but you don't have to live with that diagnosis forever. You definitely yes, don't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Claire, that is so cool. Can you say that again? Yeah, you don't. don't have to live with that diagnosis forever. But your gut health is a big... 70% of your immune system is in your gut. So Gillian McKeith, who I do used to think was a bit of a fruitcake, used to say, you are what you eat. Yeah, she's but you right. are what you eat. Yeah. <laughs> and I do say, if you eat crap, you're going to feel crap. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's very short and snappy and to the point. Yeah. <laughs> you eat crap, you're going to feel like I'm crap. Yeah. You say how it is. <laughs> there are lots of lovely messages for you, my darling. Lots of hearts about thanking you for the amazing inspiration. I don't know if you want to have a look through. Because sadly, we these aren't recorded. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. 
Kathy O'Donnell saying people are so threatened by the transformation that happens with HPD. I know it's their own insecurity. I find it sad as you just know they'd reap the benefits too if they just keep an open mind mm -hmm. about it. True, isn't it? It is. It's. I do keep saying it, but just be believe that it can happen because it, yeah. it can, you know, and you can feel better and it will work and it isn't easy. Yeah. But if it was easy, you know, everybody, yeah. you, you have to work at it and then you'll get the benefits and, and yeah. life, isn't it? Exactly. And, and you know, if you haven't, you know, if you, if you haven't had those, you know, terrible um, conditions that, that clad, you know, the fibromyalgia and the CFS, you don't have to have really massive health issues. No. You know, it can be anything about how you feel in your skin, how you feel on the beach, how you feel, you know, mm. in photographs. I mean, it might sound silly, but, you know, we know that actually that's important, mm. you know, to have pride in ourselves and to feel energetic and to feel really good you know, on the inside. And as we know, you can see what happens on the inside is reflected on the outside. And I really Claire's think as well, yeah. we're all going to go through that. And it yeah. certainly, I, I, I've got friends that are not having a great time in menopause. Yeah. And I'm, oh, I'm, I feel all right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it is, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's difficult, but I think it's, um, like I say, I do get a lot of messages saying, you know what how do you do and how do you do it and the other thing i would say is it it had to be your journey so as much as you can look at me and ask me what i've done you have to make it your own because i can't you can kind yeah, of yeah well said exactly and actually laura's just come up with somebody asked her a question claire someone's asked how did you decide when you'd lost enough weight that that's a really interesting one. So when I used to go to Slimming World for all those years, I had a target weight and I only ever used to be able so at Slimming World you used to be able to go three pounds over and three pounds under and then you didn't have to pay. So I used to get to this target weight and say, That's it now, that's yeah. it now, that could be my target weight, because I could never reach the three pounds under that I wanted to get to. So with HBD, I decided that would be my target Perfect. weight. And I am actually eight pounds under that eight target pounds weight pounds. now. Wow, that's what amazing. I thought was my target weight, because I could never get there with Slimming World, actually with HBD, I went another over half a stone under it because I could get there with HBD. And then I decided that um, it was enough. Mm -hmm. And my so i have been the way i am now i have been about five pounds under it i can't maintain that and yeah. i know i can't yeah. maintain it so um i have adjusted it and i can as i said for two years i have stayed other than holidays i have which we've discussed is water weight i have stayed no more than four pounds over that weight for two years and if i do put it on i can quite quickly get that back off again so i know now that that is a weight that my body is happy to be yeah. at i'm a size 10 yeah. i've never been a size 10 i'm five foot eight mm -hmm. that's great for me i i need to strength train so i have some muscle so i'm really happy i want to be strong not skinny yeah i don't want to be really skinny so i'm really happy but yeah i think another thing that i have found when people message me is maybe they set their goal weight too low yeah. because they're always like i can't stay there yeah. and i have said on quite a few of my posts if you can't stay there your body's telling you it's too low exactly. and and I, as i say i did get yeah. about five or six pounds under what i am now and there's no yeah. way yeah. that i could stay there and actually i'd rather to be this way i am now and know i can stay there exactly so no you're perfect that's a really good answer thank you and i think it's absolutely true and a lot of us have experienced that but yes we can be lighter but it's almost impossible to stay there and we don't feel good yeah. you know we need to feel good and enjoy life and feel like you're saying you know fit and strong and energetic and they're, they're the magic sort of sweet spot for that yeah. which claire obviously found yeah and you no, really will tell you because if, if you're constantly trying to get to a weight and as I said 
I've only ever reset once and that was two years ago. I, even when I come back off holiday, I don't go back to phase three. I just stick to my phase four and I don't add in so much. Yeah. And I just get myself back and then I carry on. And it, it, it's fine. So I'm not constantly flitting about between phases or I've literally been in phase four for two years now. And yeah. you know, that that's, I can stay there because I'm at a weight which my body is now. And, and I said, that is half a stone more than I ever thought I would get to, you know, or, or I tried to get to for 10 years on Slim World and never made it. So and she's got a lot said, more muscle now. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, got some muscle, so yeah. yeah, I think I look better now than I've probably ever done. So. Well done, you, and thank you so much for sharing, Claire. It's so inspiring, really, Thanks really you. changing what you've done, and we really appreciate you you sharing it with us. No, I'm just, just glad that I found HBD because it really was the key that unlocked the door. Yeah. It really Oh, thank goodness thank god and also i want to say to anybody who's thinking oh I, I well you might have had a question that nobody's answered but if you have please do post them i'll put we'll, we'll, um the, the both our grids so rather than dming us put the questions up there because a lot of people have the same question yeah. and that way everyone can benefit yeah no that would be great and i'm also about to go away so dms i get a lot of dms and it's really difficult for me to answer them all yeah. so It'd be really good because if I can answer it underneath the live when we post it, up, lots, if lots of people have got the same question, and I'm more than happy to answer questions. Thank but you. yeah, that, that's really useful because yeah. it is a, it's a lot. I know people struggle, and there's so much. I have met the most lovely people on my journey as well, you know, and it, there's so many lovely people out there that are willing to help. There's so many inspiring stories whatever your reason there will be somebody out there who has got the same reasons and they will be able to help you you know and wise words it's, yeah absolutely it's a great community and yeah. you know we're all just trying to help each other and that's the thing you've got to remember i only have my account to show you that, that it's possible you know because yeah. it it and it works and i was stuck for so many years so hopefully it inspires other people to see that just with a bit of determination. 100%. Thank you, my darling. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. We so appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.